We are back for another video. We have a nice small pick a brick to go through. This was purchased from my very last visit of a Lego store. When I went in, I had no anticipation of buying anything off the pick a brick wall, just a curious what kind of pieces they might have. And little did I know when I saw, there was one piece that immediately caught my attention that would be perfect for my mock that's going on if you saw my last video you're gonna see some familiar pieces in here and that one piece was exactly what i wanted with the exact color too like it was meant to be then i scrolled down a little more through the wall and then i saw oh there's a couple more that i needed perfect so we're gonna go through the pieces and see what we have yeah, and you can see some quite a bit already as in there all right, got this handy dandy mat here, so nothing would try to like s slide out so easily. Oh yeah, so satisfied. There's a lot of blues, and this is the piece that I was eyeing on. We got these seats, we got these blue seats. These are perfect for my mock. And if you saw from my last mock update video, these are the exact colors that I wanted in. And as you can see, I got quite a lot, actually a lot more than I thought I got. I thought I only grabbed like a couple, but I guess I got too excited because how often do you get seats on the pick a brick wall? At least to my knowledge, not a lot. So I think I went a little bit crazy. So let's go through it. Let's see how much I have actually. I'm not going to bore you with the count, so I'll be right back and provide you with another update. Alright, as you can see, I got quite a couple. <laughs> More than a couple. Let's see, there's 10 in each row. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57 seats. Oh, now I wish I had 60. Then I have to get like a good amount. But uh, wow, looks like I, I can make a movie theater mock right now. But uh, yeah, these would go great with the mock as I don't need 57 seats. I only need maybe like... Maybe 10 to 15, I think, I believe. I can't remember correctly, but uh, that is great. I can save it up for later. So uh, we'll keep going through what's left of the pick a brick cup, and we'll see. We got these uh, two by twos, dark bluish gray bricks that always comes in handy and always in demand. I use these on my Mach 2. As I use these like for pillar pieces to as support for the ceilings. Let's see how much we have. Okay, we got the remaining of the pick a brick cup. We got these uh, two by two corner pieces right here. These always come in handy, especially when I'm building like modulars and stuff. And uh, which can come handy with the mock as well later. And we got these uh, slopes, which is uh, neat for some of them as part of the mock. And also these clip pieces that I saw that I really needed. And if you saw, like again, like you saw my last mock video, these will appear in them. And lastly, I filled the remaining spaces in the pick a brick cup with these uh, filler pieces. You got these uh, trans, dark trans blue like cheese wedge pieces just to fill it in. And they look cool as well. Like that little, little shimmering blue. And uh, that's some of these too. These are uh, clear pieces. And yeah, so that's about it. Nice, but the major eye catcher were the seats. So I'm gonna have some fun building the mock when I uh when I have all the pieces which I've ordered from the 
pick a brick online from lego.com I have no idea where when those pieces are gonna come because not a majority of them are bestseller pieces so uh, the ones that are not bestsellers will definitely will take a while to come maybe like a month after from my experience hopefully sooner so I can start building but um uh, yeah that's what we have for this little uh pick a brick cup and uh this can be used for something else later on so thank you for watching we'll see you later in the next one but in the meantime please keep on building don't forget that have fun see you later bye bye so right now what i'm trying to do is i want to refill this cup with the same exact pieces see if i actually made my money worth it with this pick a brick cup purchase uh probably not if i would have spent a little bit more time thinking of how i want to fill it at the lego store i probably would have but uh we're gonna see so right now i'm just filling up the bottom with the with those uh trans blue cheese wedge pieces so obviously i still have some room down there obviously i could still have filled it up more with some of those but uh have those uh clear pieces gonna drop in there as well So it fills up with that. That kind of sort of does it. So uh, let's stack up some 2x2 two two bricks and see how it ends up. Stacked up the bricks and added the seats all around it. Obviously there are some gaps in between. It could have like filled it up more better. Maybe if there's like some stud pieces I could have kept filling them up. But uh, we still remain this and those so we're just gonna sprinkle it around and see what happens all filled up now all the pieces are back in and obviously you can see there are I, there's still some a little bit of wiggle room left i could have filled it up a little bit more plus you got this uh gap on the top of the lid i don't even know how to like actually put it in there maybe if i ask the employee for a piece of tape in the future is like i can actually hold it in place but uh yeah but actually if i uh, put the lid back on obviously there is a little bit more space in there i can actually fill it so yeah oh what can you do maybe next time i can fill it up better but you don't want to like be there all all that time trying to like trying to cramp everything in together and people watching you look like a little, a little bit awkward i i admit in public but um what can you say but we're gonna end it right here so thank you for watching again and we'll see you later